I was looking at the 53. Am I reading this correctly? They kept more running backs than wide receivers. Are they just going to go wing T? Is that because that feels like it's weird in today's NFL? So he can't right, cover so, anybody. So that's uh, the 49ers uh, carried six running backs if you include the fullback Kyle Juszczyk. So five backs, geez. one fullback, a quarterback who could run in Trey Lance, four tight ends, Damn. and Debo Samuel, who obviously <laughs> played a lot of running back last year. So, yes, they're going to run the hell out of the football. Last season, they and just in the Shanahan era, they've run over fifty percent of the time. They're, Whoa. I think, they might be the only uh, NFL team to have done that over the course of the past five years. So, uh, yes, they're going to run and they're going to run a lot. And Kyle Shanahan wants to zag while the rest of the league is zigging. The defenses are getting smaller, and he wants to pound the rock. He believes he can control game flow that way too. Complimentary football. He wants a six while everybody's nine. Go ahead. Uh, AJ, <laughs> what about their defense? Their defense has a ton of star power. I feel like, and D'Amico Ryan's, is, I'm sure, on the fast track to become a head coach, being their D coordinator right now. How have they looked? Uh, uh, they're they're relying on their defense to be the locomotive that pulls the train, at least for the start of the season. I think there is a full full embrace of the Trey Lance experience. That there's going to be some volatility. Which you know, back to the first question. Um, I, I don't think that they're going to be freaking out if Trey has some struggles because they're embracing the fact that this this team is going to be defense and special teams yeah, led. They revamped the special teams, but specifically the defense, that line. I mean, they released Kamoko Ture yesterday. He had five and a half what? sacks for Indy last year. What other NFL team? He had a good tra uh, training camp in preseason, too. I don't know if any other team would have that luxury, right, to, to release a, 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 an edge rusher that – is still really productive. So they're deep there. The linebackers are uh, maybe the best in the league. They're near the top for sure. And then you look at the secondary, they added Charvarius Ward, and they have Jason Verrett on pop. They relied on Jason Verrett's health last year, which wasn't a good idea. This year it would be icing on the cake if he comes back from that ACL tear because they're strong on the back end as well. If you run the ball, the game gets shorter. If your defense gets a couple stops, I mean, that's good. That's old school football. Run the ball, yeah. good D. Play good special teams, win field position. You're going to squeak out some games. You guys are all just assuming boring fucking games this year out there in San Francisco? Hey, I don't think it's boring. I don't think you guys think it either. It, 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 they're football purist games, but Shanahan adds those wrinkles too. It's not two yards in a cloud of dust. Yeah, that right. running game, I, I think. Remember, when it all goes well, Remember the NFC Championship game against right. the Packers. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Mom, right. Remember? Yeah. All right. Well, we have a Packers owner in here, obviously. Remember? All-time leading tackler against for the Packers. A.J. Hawk is here. So that was a good shot there, Lombo. Uh, Boston Connor has a question for you, pal. Yeah, David, you said if Lance bombs, you know, they can just go to Jimmy G. If Lance bombs, is there any thought that John Lynch or Shanahan might be on the hook because of the fact that they mortgage the future to draft him at number three instead of Mac Jones or Justin Fields? Well, yeah, I mean, anytime you invest so much in a quarterback, especially when you had a guy that was winning a lot of games before him, if he, yes, if he bombs, this would be the case with any NFL team. I think that uh, you would start looking at, at the front office and being like, uh, what, you know, what the hell did you guys do? Um, but again, to, to, to me, that's, that's a worst case scenario that the 49ers aren't counting on. They really like what Trey Lance is, is made of, you know, heart-wise. Uh, I think they think he's really smart. They think they have seen progress over the course of training camp. I mean, he was really inaccurate in the first week, and then he got more accurate as time went along during camp. So uh, worst-case scenarios on the table for any NFL team. Uh, the question is, does it happen? And the 49ers have also insulated their roster in such a way that they think can really support Trey Lance through some of the growing pains that they expect. Uh, Mr. Lombardi, how many wins this year for the Niners? I think I predicted somewhere between 9 and 10. So 9.5 I've set as the line. Oh, uh, so why don't we say 10? All right. 10 wins for the Niners. 10 wins for the Panthers, okay. feel the beats a lot more optimistic <laughs> yeah, this time oh, around. Yeah. We can't thank you enough, ladies and gentlemen, David Lombardi. Yeah. How about that, Age? A little positivity from these beat writers. They're Hell not yeah. completely beaten down by the team yet, I guess. I mean, it's completely different. It was. I feel like we had three yeah, pretty negative reports last time, didn't we? Yes, super negative. Very positive. Yeah. It was good to see. Uh, Sheena, good to see. See, what's that? It's because they're from different type of programs. Correct. Not just, you know, some of these. That's all right. We're not talking... We're not talking blue-collar cities. Oh, yeah. you don't think? 
Yeah, uh, no, we're not. I was going to say, <laughs> Niners are an old team. That is a oh. legendary team who has had a lot of success, been around a long time. 49ers faithful is very vast across the sure. entire country. I thought you were going to talk about that. Instead, you were talking about, hey, some of these miserable cities, you know, you're going to get some miserable people. <laughs> exactly. you know? I'm talking about cities that are still sucking down six and putting yeah. Jameson in you're their coffee. Get the truth, the honest truth. Yeah. I don't know. San Francisco's got people doing some shit. True. And I mean, my first Literally, trip, yeah. They I've, better better throw the damn ball, though. They're not. What are you talking about? They got it's to. six running they backs. Have five wide receivers. You're not they, winning the Super Bowl without being able They don't have to throw. Air that motherfucker out. They want a Triple playoff option game. with Trey. Yeah. They want a playoff game. Jimmy G ran or threw the ball four or five times, six times. Yeah. Well, they had a triple yeah. option with Juice Check, Debo, and Elijah Ooh. Mitchell. Yeah. And Trent. And, and Trent geez. Williams. And Trent Williams. My, and Greg Kittle. Have, that, that have Trent Williams great. come for the dive. All yeah. right. Trent Williams with the dive. Obviously, read that. Then you got Debo going out for the uh, for the pitch. And then you got Kittle with the throw. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you got Ayuk. That's a four. And sure. Trey can carry it, too. And if he needs to, he yeah. can take it the whole yeah. way. Yes, exactly. That's Mike five. Winter. Every play? <laughs> this is like fucking remember the Titans. Do it. How many fun. plays you got? We got two of them. What are they? One to the left. One of the right. What are they? Penta options. Is that what a five would be? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Penta option play every single time. Do you think when they signed Debo to his new contract and he was saying, like, hey, I want to be a receiver, I want receiver money, they're like, that's great. This year you're probably going to have to run the ball 350 times. <laughs> we hear what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> we understand what you're saying, but that's just not going to happen with us. So do you want this money or not? All right, sweet. Get to the backfield.